Okay, so this next concept <coughs> involves this concept of E, <coughs> excuse me, which is E is approximately 2.71828 dot dot dot. It's non non repeating, and it's actually kind of like pi is 3.14 non repeating. Um, and this all is a middle school number, right? So when you're in middle school, they um, introduced you to this irrational number. Once you get to high school, you get interest to this uh, to the letter E, the number E, which is this irrational number. Which what we learned the other day is if we take this function, um, oops, f of x is equal to one plus one over x to the x power, right? As x approaches infinity, right? And this was when we put in bigger numbers for x. Um, and as x approaches infinity, what happens is 1 plus 1 over x to the x approaches the number e. Um, in other words, it gets closer and closer to 2.71828 dot 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 as you go on and on and on. And here is where we're now going to take this concept and put it together with here. Because here's what I want you to see. I want you to notice how this right here looks similar, right? Do you notice how they look really similar? Uh, they both have a 1. They both have a plus sign. They both have a fraction. They both have something in the exponent, right? And so here's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is this is I'm going to say, I'm going to say, hey, let's start with this number right here, okay? Um, so let's start over again. So, and I'm going to write this in black. Um, A of t is equal to A naught, the initial value, plus 1 plus the interest rate, divided by the number of times compounded times the number of times, or to the power of the number of times compounded times t. Then here is the trick. So how do I integrate this with this to get to this? This is pretty slick. So the first thing 